So, my friend Patrick owns a sunglasses company which makes their sunglasses out of aerospace grade titanium. In fact, they're the only sunglasses designed to pop open bottles. William Painter sunglasses cost a lot more to manufacture than the polarized Ray-Ban alternative and yet, they cost over $100 less to purchase. This video is a test to see if the sunglasses our friend Patrick made would be better eye protection than the Ray-Bans Chuck used to wear all the time. You see, we heard Ray-Bans shatter into your eyeballs if the lenses are hit hard enough. Whereas Patrick hits his William Painter lenses with circus mallets and nothing ever seems to happen to them. For our safety, we had to put this to our own brutal ZGB test. Titanium frames versus plastic frames. Scratch in shatter resistant nylon lenses versus glass lenses. Let's destroy $500 worth of sunglasses in order to help you protect your eyeballs in style during the zombie apocalypse. Check out the William Painter YouTube channel in the description below and if you want to own a pair yourself, go to WilliamPainter.com and use the code ZGB at checkout for $30 off your purchase just for being a ZGB fan. Courtesy of Patrick, the man who never sleeps. Alright, so these are actually my personal Ray-Bans. You've seen me wear these hundreds of times on Zombie Go Boom. I spent about $300 on them in Hawaii. So it, it really, it really hurts that uh, these may not do as well as the William Painters, but uh, I'll, I'll let them go for, for science. Damn. Oh man, that is so, so disappointing. So yeah, the lens is made of glass. The polarization on a Ray-Ban lens is actually like a sticker that goes in front of the glass lens. I mean, can you imagine using these as safety glasses? I've been using these as safety glasses for years, actually. That could have been in my eye. I'm very disappointed, Charles. Very, very, very disappointed. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for the William Painters. So yeah, as you can see, the pellet hit and it cracked the lens. So if you want polarized glasses, the best ones are the William Painters. They got cracked, these got completely destroyed. All right, up next we're gonna be shooting the Ray-Bans with the slingshot using a 3 8 inch steel shot. Ready? That was it. Oh no. It went completely through. Oh no, look at that. Look at that. Would you look would you look at that? Would you would you look at that? Just look at it. Just look at it. Put them on. <laughs> no, don't. Oh man, that would hurt. Let me Did it go straight through into his eye? Like, oh it it, it it bounced off. But still there's glass shards everywhere. Alright, it's time for the William Painter hooks to get some. You look like a very sad pirate. Oh, a pirate? A very sad pirate. A nerdy pirate. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Well, it stopped it. So, as far as polarized lenses are concerned, these are better than the Ray-Ban polarized lenses. Alright, so now it's time to test the frame's durability, and for that we have a bunch of melee weapons that are going to kick a bunch of butt. Let's try the William Painters. All right, so we got some bending on the hinge. All right, so here is the polarized Ray-Ban lenses. Here is the William Painter polarized lenses, and this is a Warhammer. Uh, it exploded. It's completely shattered. This is probably the biggest piece I could find. All right. Wait. Let's <laughs> just play. All 
All right, William Painter ones. I can't see any more damage than there was already because that's pretty much what happened from the air gun. And you can put them back. So that's what you get. Zombiegoboom.com, by the way. One thing is certain, however, and that is that William Painter's sunglasses come with a much, much nicer case. This thing is very beautiful. Whereas Ray-Ban comes with this leather case that... Is it even real leather? I don't know. Can I see it? No, I don't think so. That's not real leather. But this is this is really neat, so... for fake. For, uh, for shites and giggles, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna try to cut these cases with the executioner sword. Yeah! That's gonna be a lot of fun. Woo! Three, two, one. Really clean cut. What is this even? Is this even real leather? No, it's some kind of foam crap. It's not real. And that's plastic. Well, all right, up next we're gonna chop the uh, William Painter sunglasses case up with the executioner sword. See how it fares. One. Ah! Nice! Dang! So That's close. awesome. Stuck to the blade. So close. Cut through almost all the way through the hinges right there. Let's peel it off. Wow. Wow. Does it open? Wow. Hey, it still opens. Can we just smash it flat? Dude. So James just punctured a hole through the uh, William Painter sunglasses case with the Warhammer here, and uh, I'd say it went right through it flawlessly. Two, one. Yeah, I got it all the way through. There's the exit wound right there. Pretty cool. 